So we have a basic algebra equation. The equation is 1 over x is equal to the square root of 0.25. But uh, the kind of the secret here to solve this equation without the aid of a calculator is something you learn before algebra, okay? It's basic math, and I'll give you a little bit of a clue. It has to do with your ability to write this number as a fraction. Matter of fact, I just gave you a gigantic uh, clue. So if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section, and then we'll walk through step-by-step -step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. And again, here is our equation. Now we're not using a calculator here. And there's probably a couple different approaches you could take uh, to do this, but the, uh, the easiest approach by far is to first address this number right here. Okay, we have 1 over x is equal to the square root of 0.25. We want to make this uh, as easy as possible. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, we can do this by using our knowledge of place value. Okay, so instead of taking the square root of, of a decimal, it might be easier to think of this as a fraction. Okay, so uh, 0.25 is equivalent to what fraction? Well, we have to look at this fraction. Matter of fact, let me put it over here, 0.25, and we want to say this fraction out loud. So I said, hey, say the fraction, uh, say this fraction out loud. Now, <laughs> some of you might say, well, 0.25. Well, don't use the word point. So how else would you say this? Well, hopefully you, uh, you're going to say that this has 25 hundredths, okay? 25 hundredths, that's how you would say this here. So the two is in the tenths place and the five here is in the hundredths place. So uh, the way place value works is whatever the last digit here is, this is in the hundredths place. So we're going to write a, fra a fraction, uh, 25 over 100. Okay, so 25 over 100, 25 over 100. If you took that 25 divided by 100, you'd get back to 0.25, okay? Now, of course, I can reduce this fraction down, 25 over 100, to the fraction 1 fourth. So instead of uh, the square root of 0.25, we're going to have the square root of 1 over 4. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what we need to do. And what we need to do is just go ahead and rewrite this problem by uh, taking this decimal and expressing it as a fraction. Now, one uh, kind of common here is I have one uh, slash x. Uh, now, I do this often, uh, pretty often in a lot of my uh, videos, is I show you different ways um, how fractions are written. So some of you out there like to write your fractions with an angled uh, uh, fraction bar like so. I'm gonna tell you there's nothing wrong uh, doing that, but in algebra, okay, you want to get used to writing kind of a horizontal fraction bar this way, okay? So if you, you know, been kind of, uh, you know, in the habit, you know, of writing your fractions like say, five thirds this way, nothing wrong uh, in writing fractions like that in arithmetic, but try to get in the habit of writing the fractions this way. That's my opinion. And it only comes after decades and decades of teaching mathematics and doing mathematics. But uh, here is the way I'm going to think of this problem. So instead of one slash X, I'm gonna have one over X, okay, is equal to the square root of not 0.25, but I know that this is equal to the fraction one over four. Okay, so the square root of one over four now, this becomes quite easy when you understand a basic property of square roots. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description, but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. 
Okay, so here we have 1 over x is equal to the square root of 1 over 4. Now, the next thing that we want to do is understand something about taking the square root of fractions. Okay, now this may not be so obvious to some of you, but this is an excellent property, okay, of taking it of uh, square roots, okay, or radicals. It's one that you definitely need to know, and that is the following, okay, the square root of a fraction, one big square root of a fraction like this inside that square root can be broken up into two square roots, okay, in other words, we can uh, take the square root of the numerator and put that over the square root of the denominator just as I have it right here. Now, that really is going to be helpful because the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2, okay? So right now, uh, we figured out that the square root of 1 fourth is equal to 1 half. Okay, so this now is going to become quite easy. So here's our problem. Uh, we have 1 over x is equal to the square root of uh, 1 fourth. We, figured that, uh, we just figured out that the square root of 1 fourth is equal to 1 half. Okay, let's just use some common sense here and stare at this problem, okay, or stare at this situation. Now, I'm trying to determine what x is equal to, the solution, right? So I have this fraction, and it's equal to this fraction. Okay, so these must be equivalent. Now, let's take a look at the numerators. The numerators are the same number, right, 1 and 1. And if these are the same, this is 2, what must x be? Okay, well, you know, the only way uh, that these are going to be equal to is that this has to be 2, because 1 half will equal to 1 half. So you can see here that x must be equal to 2. But let's suppose you didn't see that. Uh, what you have here, technically, and I hate to get all technical on you, is that two equal fractions in mathematics is something called a proportion, all right? And you can solve a proportion easily by something called the cross product. In other words, we cross multiply this way, 2 solve for x, so 1 times 2 is, of course, 2, and that's going to be equal to 1 times x, so that's x, so x is equal to 2. Okay, so again, a pretty uh, basic problem. I think the key here, obviously, is uh, two things. One, you need to know a little bit about the square root of fractions, and even if you didn't understand it, you probably can reason through reason through this uh, square root and be like, well, you know what, maybe it's one half, you know, if I took the square root of that. And um, you can always check your solution, <clears throat> but you couldn't even get to that point unless you understood place value. Okay, 0 0.25 is equal to 25 hundredths. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is cracking up here, but uh, hopefully my brain isn't cracking up. I do love teaching mathematics, and I try to span my videos on my YouTube channel from basic math to calculus to trigonometry. You know, uh, I'm only one person. I wish I could duplicate myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, maybe with the A, uh, uh, you know, AI one day, I can kind of like, you know, have myself doing other videos. But, you know, what I try to do is to post videos that I think are going to be helpful for the uh, broadest, you know, amount of people out there. And generally, that's kind of basic mathematics, basic algebra. But again, on my channel, um, I do other advanced stuff as well. Of course, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot less people interested in complex, you know, number trigonometry than there is in maybe something like this. But nevertheless, I do have it on my channel. And if you're interested in learning math from me all the way up to pre-calculus, I'll leave links to all my uh, main courses in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.